with its gorgeous scenery, amazingly clear turquoise water, stunning white sand beaches, a vibrant marine life, and long stretches of stunning coral reefs makes Maldives one of the world's most coveted destinations. Newlyweds dream of spending a honeymoon in one of the luxurious resorts. But beyond the picture-perfect images you see in Facebook and Instagram with these gorgeous overwater villas, there's more to learn about this stunning destination. In this video, I'm going to present 10 facts that you should know before booking a trip to this dream destination. Before anything else, if you're looking for a luxury island destination idea, this is the channel for you. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And remember to like this video. Thank you very much. Let's dive into it. Number 1. It's pretty remote. Nestled southwest of Sri Lanka and India, the Maldives is located in the Indian Ocean and the smallest country in Asia. This island nation is unique in its geography and topography, with more than 26 naturally formed atolls, 200 locally populated islands, and thousands of other coral islands and sandbars. Due to its remoteness, this is also one of the reasons why newlyweds escape to its atolls, and celebrities fly to luxury resorts to disconnect from the trappings of daily life and to recharge. Its remoteness, however, means long flights, especially if you come from the United States. A flight from Los Angeles to the Maldives can take you up to 36 hours of flight time, including layovers. There is no direct flight from your chosen resort in the Maldives. A typical flight will take you either Europe or Asia, then another flight to Mali, the capital of Maldives, then a speedboat or a scenic seaplane ride to your resort. Be prepared, however, because it can be a tiring trip, not to mention the issue of jet lag. Yep, you heard me right, jet lag. Now, picture sitting on a plane for 13 to 16 hours straight. I am pretty sure sooner or later your butt will complain. So the best way to travel to the Maldives is to fly business class or at least premium economy class. The full flat seat will ease some of the pain of sitting and you can sleep at night. I know it's pretty expensive. So save your Amex Platinum points for a seat upgrade for this epic journey. In our recent visit, with Amex points and some hard-earned dollars, me and my wife was able to travel on board Qatar Airlines Q Suite, which is hands down the best business class cabin in the world. Number 2. It's not only for the uber-rich and celebrities. While the Maldives have been known to be too lavish and expensive, in recent years it has become much more affordable and accessible. Don't get me wrong, this is not your typical Cancun vacation. It is still expensive, but you're not going to spend tens of thousands just to enjoy some days on its remote islands. Even staying at an overwater bungalow that is a bucket list to a lot of vacationers have become more affordable. Try googling cheap resorts in the Maldives and you will get many websites that shows affordable resorts. Or you can also search in YouTube for cheap resorts in the Maldives and you will get a lot of videos. You can even find 7 night stay at less than $1,000 for 2 people in a beach villa and less than $2,000 on an overwater villa. One good recommendation is Rithi Beach Resort. To be fair, the Maldives are more affordable for vacation than French Polynesia. Number 3. It's not only for the honeymooners. Welcome to Good afternoon. Thank you. Good afternoon. Please make some comfortable. The Maldives is known as the ultimate honeymoon destination. It is without any doubt because it is exotic, private, and romantic. Luxury seaside resorts, white sands, and swaying palms meet glistening turquoise water is an excellent start for newlyweds. But this tropical destination has more than romantic appeal. Serving a wide variety of travelers, the Maldives has so much to offer for families and groups. World-class resorts offer a suite of amenities and facilities including swimming pools, tennis courts, beach games, water sports, cooking classes, and much more. Although there are many adult-only resorts, 
Many resorts are geared towards families that offer children's club and daycare services included in your stay. Number 4. Most resorts offer an all-inclusive option. The food in the resort is very expensive, simply because you are in a private island and you have no choice but to eat at the restaurants in the resort. A themed buffet dinner at Conrad Rangali Island will cost you roughly $100 per person. And an a la carte lunch will be between $30 to $50. Burgers and fries at Six Senses Lamu cost $23 to $40. When your vacation is over, your cost of food will be between two to three thousand for two people. However, most resorts offer a half board, full board, or all-inclusive options for travelers to save on food costs. Here's my advice. If you're good with just beer, don't get the all-inclusive, just get the full board. But the best value is the half board. Just eat a late breakfast. Normally, the buffet breakfast closes around 10 a.m., so eat around 9.30 and have dinner later. If you get hungry before dinner time, then have some smoothie or burgers or pizza. Better yet, bring some snacks with you during your vacation. The last time we visited, we made the mistake of choosing all-inclusive, and we don't even drink alcohol. So the staff were confused when we told them we don't drink alcoholic beverages, and we opted the all-inclusive. It was a mistake on our part. An expensive mistake. Now, do not make the same mistake we did. Number 5. It could be very hot and humid. The Maldives receives sunlight almost at an angle of 90 degrees as it is located very close to the equator. This means it can be very hot and humid. The best time to visit the Maldives is between November and April. But this is also the warmest months. February and March are the driest months. Great for snorkeling and scuba diving because the water is pretty clear, but it is also the hottest. When we visited Six Senses Lamu in March, there was a day we spent it on the beach and I had a hard time breathing because of the heat and 95% humidity, making it more unbearable. Be prepared if you visit this time of the year, bring plenty of sunscreen with at least 50 SPF to protect your body against sunburn. Number 6. Not all atolls are the same. The Maldives is made up of 1,190 coral islands formed around 26 natural ring-like atolls spreading 90,000 square kilometers. Not only do atolls differ in size and shape, they have different characteristics as well. In the southern atolls, the bottom of the ocean has more sea grasses than corals, ideal for encountering huge green sea turtles, while the bottom of the northern atolls consists of hard corals, ideal for seeing myriads of colorful tropical fish. The waters of the northern atolls are much more clearer than those of the southern atolls. Some atolls have a crystal clear lagoon and the water is flat, just smooth motion of the water while other atolls, the waves are visible. A good example of a southern atoll is the beautiful Lamu Atoll home to the Six Senses Lamu Resort. The overwater villas are located where there are a lot of sea grasses. You won't find a lot of tropical fish swimming around the villa, but it's pretty common to see the green sea turtles swimming near your villa looking for food at the bottom of the ocean. And on top of that, the water is not so clear as you can see in this footage. A good example of a northern atoll is the Laviani Atoll where Hurawali Island Resort is situated on one of its islands. As you notice, the water is clear and flat. You will also see a lot of beautiful tropical fish swimming around or under the overwater villas. This is an important thing to take into account when booking a resort to stay in the Maldives. Google which atoll the resort is located and check the feature of the atoll so that you will have a great idea before booking the resort. Number 7. The Maldives has the whitest sand beaches in the world. 
One of the attractions of the Maldives is the white sand beaches. In addition, the sand is powdery, so it is very soft to walk on. The fact is that the finest beaches in the world has a yellow sand color, not white. Only 5% of all beaches worldwide have white sand. 5% only, including the Maldives. This means that the Maldives sands are rare. This is due to the fact that the sand on the beaches is made of coralline and not quartz as other types of sands. Another interesting fact is that the parrotfish are the reason why the sands in the Maldives are white. To be specific, we're talking about the parrotfish poop. Yep, you heard me right. We know that parrotfish produce up to 100 kilograms of white sand annually. Now, if you want to see giant parrotfish, I mean really, really big parrotfish, you need to stay at Kuridu Island Resort or in Hurawali Island Resort and book a turtle lover's snorkeling excursion by speedboat. The guide will take you to Kuridu Island Resort where you will see huge turtles, but also large parrotfish feeding on the bottom of the ocean. So don't forget that when you walk on the beaches of the Maldives, keep in mind that you are walking on the rarest sands in the world. Number 8. Alcohol is not allowed, but there's an exemption. The Maldives is an Islamic nation. Alcohol is actually prohibited to the local population. You won't be able to buy alcohol in the Maldives. It is not sold in stores. And please do not make the mistake of bringing alcohol with you because it will be taken away at customs. The same applies to alcohol purchased in duty-free shops. Therefore, it makes no sense to buy alcohol at duty-free if you are flying to the Maldives. But don't worry, you can still enjoy alcohol during your vacation in the Maldives because the only exception for buying and drinking alcohol is in the island resorts. In fact, in your villa, your mini ref is well stocked with alcoholic beverages, even premium alcoholic drinks. Number 9. Marine life is breathtaking. Lavish overwater villas, ultimate privacy, ridiculously delicious food, breathtaking scenery, crystal clear lagoons. Yes, that is Maldives. But if you have not considered snorkeling or diving, then you are missing the Maldivian experience. The majority of the wildlife in the Maldives is aquatic. There is incredible diversity of sea life from the numerous corals to over 2,000 species of fish ranging from tiny colorful reef fish, eels, turtles, and rays to giant pelagic fish like tuna, sharks, dolphins, and whale sharks. So during your vacation, do not forget to snorkel. Or if you are PADI certified, book a scuba diving excursion. You do not need to bring your snorkeling gears because all resorts offer free snorkeling gears to use. And finally, number 10, there are a lot of activities on the resort you are staying. Although most of the vacationers to the Maldives are there to do nothing more than bask in the sun, sip cocktails, and watch the sunset over the Indian Ocean, there are absolutely other things you can do. If you like to stay active during your vacation, you can hit the gym, run on the mill, or ride a stationary bike. Other resorts have athletic facilities like football field and tennis court. Major resorts also offer free of use of non-motorized water equipment such as kayaks and paddle boards. If you want a more exhilarating experience, then you can rent a jet ski or I dare you to try fly boarding. <laughs> it looks so easy, but it's not actually. Let me see if you can fly 5 minutes straight the first time you try it. It was so hard to keep my balance, so I kept falling. Whew, but it was so much fun. My wife kept laughing at me when I fall. I mentioned two resorts we visited during our recent vacation. Hit either a thumbnail to watch my take on each resort. I hope you enjoy watching this video, and I wish that you can travel to this piece of paradise. Until next time, travelers, bye for now.